suspicious about an outbuilding that went up in flames. The fire started about an hour ago near 7th and Peoria. Yeah, that's where 2 News reporter Patricia Santos is right now with a live update on what she's been able to learn so far. Patricia? Well, Justin, I can tell you that investigators have just arrived on scene here. That fire happened uh, in that abandoned property that you see behind me. That's about three houses uh, behind me here. Now, um, fire the fire captain right now in charge is looking around the area. He hasn't been able to give us an update because they're still trying to figure out how this fire started. I can tell you they've been looking around the electrical and power outlets uh, that are in that home. But take a look. This is what that fire looked like when we first arrived. You can see the building there was fully engulfed. Uh, firefighters at this point not able to tell us whether this was a shed, a garage, or an actual home. They just know that uh, this was a building. Uh, at this point, they do not believe that anyone was inside, but uh, it started shortly after four this morning here at the uh, corner near 8th and uh, St. Louis. Uh, it took about four to five uh, engines to help put out this fire uh, within about 15 minutes or so. But uh, as soon as we arrived here, we encountered a neighbor who was just frantic. She was talking about, you know, how she was suspicious about what was going on in this abandoned property. She said she tried to get to someone's help with this. Uh, take a listen. Here, I've called the police for two years now to try to get them to come out. Um, they, I feel like their hands were kind of tied uh, because at first we didn't know who the property was owned by. I was finally fit, finally was able to clarify that it was owned by the city, and that's when they were able to come in and, and try to run them out. And this morning, fire investigators going to try to figure out what started this fire. Again, no one was hurt. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.